Like if there is a term you can call called Southern Rising, your name is there in that. Like you are one of the reasons that this term exists even, that Southern Rising with the kind of work you've done. Tell me something, you, you, before you became an actor, you ran a visual effects studio, right? For five years. So while you were associated with the industry then, uh, you weren't famous. You weren't like, uh, your face, your name wasn't famous. And then this fame came and then Bahubali exponentially multiplied it for you. How has it been for you as a person? Like how, is extra, how does extraordinary fame change you as a human being? Firstly, good morning, Allah uh, Arghwanakam. Thank you, sir. Yes, I started my career in the movies with visual effects. The reason I started that because I was fascinated with movies in the first place and I thought visual effects was the answer to making bigger and bigger movies and that's why visual effects began. But very quickly I realized a service business is not something that you need to be in, especially in the entertainment industry that's pretty unstructured, not really sectored. And I used to do this in 2004, 5, that time, so it's, it's been a while. What happened after was the decision to become an actor or take this path was because I was unable to make the films that I wanted to. Uh, you needed talent because it was stopping at talent at some point, it was stopping at filmmakers at the other point. I knew I wasn't mature enough to be a filmmaker or direct my own film because I knew I had to learn a lot. Uh, I've done theater, I did theater in my younger days in school. Uh, there was a sense of understanding character, understanding how to portray characters, that's something that I understood and so I quit my job, I trained for that and I went into the movies uh, as, a, as an actor this time. What does fame really do? I think I've been in the movies long enough and uh, I've been blessed to be in a family that's been there much, much longer. And fame is, tr is actually a job and we treat it very much like that. It's being famous is a, full, is a job. Every time you get out, you got to be famous. But you go back and you got to be who you are and what got you here. So, so that's, that's the reason that we wear it literally as a job and take it off once job is done. What's the best part of being famous and what's the worst or not so savory part of being famous? There's nothing that's not so good about being famous. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, that's very honest.